Hello everyone on the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4 as Venezia, right down here in the Mediterranean. Right, okay, so before I get going, I just want to address some of the issues that some of you guys had. Now, I did say I wanted to form Italy. Now, Italy isn't really focused on trade ideas. However, if I go ahead and in the idea group, right, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself trade ideas, obviously. Oh, yes, right, we also have a patch that I want to explain in a few minutes, too. If I grab the trade ideas, that's going to set me up for any country that I play as to be a, a nice trading nation. You don't necessarily need to be a merchant republic to be a great trade nation. I just want to point that out there while, um, you know, we get going here. As well as uh, naval ideas, which got switched to... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm so what? I, yeah, okay. So they added maritime ideas, influence ideas, and humanist ideas. However, they switched around the names of maritime and naval is what it said. So which one's new? <laughs> Uh, I think this one was already here. Could be wrong. Let's see. This is for military. Okay, so this is for military. I think what we're really going to need is maritime, so we can get the force limit. That way there- oh wait, no, that's not- yeah. Naval force limits modifier, so we can actually grab a bunch more caravels, or, you know, the light ships. Uh, that way there, we can really just increase our navy, which is going to help us out so much when it comes to our trade. Not only that, but um, if we unlock that whole thing, we can get ships can repair while in coastal sea zones, which is perfect. Awesome. Alright, so, like I said, the three new ones that were added were Maritime. However, uh, they switched the name, so Naval has the new policies. Influence Ideas and Humanist Ideas. So, Humanist Ideas, it looks like, focuses on... Religious Unity and... Ooh, there's some good ones in here. Hang on, so let's start from the beginning. Religious Unity, yep. National Vote Risk Minus 2. So, these are more to prevent rebels and, uh, you know, get tolerance to heretics. Years of Nationalism minus 10. Oh, that's fantastic. So, considering cultures cannot be converted anymore as easily as they were before, uh, to get rid of Serbian, I would need to go ahead and wait like 10 or so years until Nationalism goes away, and then I could convert them to Lombard. Um, but this seems like it's just going to get rid of that altogether. Well, I don't, know, I don't know exactly how long Nationalism lasts, but 10 years is definitely freaking good to get rid of that. Accepted culture threshold, awesome. Uh, better relations over, actually that would help too, with the whole culture thing. Alright, and idea cost minus 10%, fantastic. Well, we'll look into that, I don't think we're gonna grab this, but it's, it's there. Influence, okay, so we have income from vassals. Time to fabricate claims, minus 33%. Diplomatic annexation cost. Aggressive expansion impact, minus 10, that'd be fantastic. Diplomatic reputation, plus 5. Envoy travel time and imperial authority, ooh. That would help us out if we actually wanted to become the Emperor of the HRE. I don't know if we'll actually be able to do that, but we'll see. We will see once we form Italy, which is still going to happen. Subject Force Limits Contribution. Oh, that is awesome! I have never- that's awesome, I like that. So you can actually help your, your vassals by giving them more Force Limits when they're under you. I think that's what it means. By granting considerable um, Autonomy to vassals in border regions. These marcher lords will be able to raise large military armies to support us in our wars. Oh, that is fantastic. And diplomatic re uh, relations plus one. That's fan. I like influencer one. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> we might actually do this down the road. Although, I'm not really sure because... I don't know, we'll see. I mean, we have like ten or so. What was it? Ten? One? No, eight. Eight's a lot. I mean, we're definitely going to get trade and naval, or maritime ideas, so trade, that's only two. We have five others to look at, so we, we could still go down the road. Other than that, we have naval ideas, which focuses on giving us better naval military ideas, basically. And at the end, it's ship durability plus 10%. That's awesome. Plus, there's a whole slew of new policies and all that good stuff, but policies won't really matter until the end of the game, when we really don't need our points. All right, that being said, we have Bosnia and Wallachia, or v Wallachia, I, I, I'm not really sure. Somebody told me how to say it, I'm not really sure. In our vassalage. Now we need to grab Serbia, however, we have aggressive expansion out the yin-yang right now. In fact, Austria's got 46. That's not too good. In fact, it stretches all the way up to England. It even stretches to Muscovy as well, yeah. We can't do anything until this goes away. Right now, the Ottomans and the Genoese are in a coalition against us, which is not good. I'm actually quite worried about us. However, we'll be okay considering they have a regency, so they can't declare wars, and I'm just hoping that Genoa doesn't declare war on me. I really am. 
technically relations aren't that hurt. I mean, it's only minus 36 here in Genoa and minus 45 here on the Ottomans. I can actually bring these up, which is actually really, really nice. I'm going to actually do that once we come back from Austria. We're still getting our manpower up. Fantastic. That's a max of 20,000. That'll increase once we build, say, armories and stuff, which I think we should do. The more manpower, the better. Absolutely. We'll build a, a maximum manpower reserve. And one more once we get 50. Well, that's a little ways away. Looks like uh, Byzantium actually annexed um, Athens, so... That's interesting. I, w I really want to see Byzantium help us here. Now, if we can somehow help Byzantium in their war and push the Ottomans back, that would actually give us a huge, huge bonus to later conquests. And somebody's messaging me that I, I, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. So if we could somehow help Byzantium in their war against the Ottomans and push them back, that way their later conquests, uh, we're not going to have to really worry about the Ottomans. We could try to, you know, ally ourselves with Byzantium because they're a pretty friendly... Okay, maybe they're not. No, they're not really friendly at all, are they? <laughs> well, technically, well, no, they just are not friendly. The Ottomans are more friendly than they are. You know what? Get rid of them. I'm done with them. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. Oh, Eric. Uh-oh. Austria is getting sieged out by... What is this war? The Aragonese Conquest of Siena. Uh-oh. No thank you, Aragon. Get out of Italy. Uh, what is this? Naples and Urbino. Urbino. Well, that's interesting. Um, and who's against them? Alsace, Siena, and Austria. Wow, that's, that's... Tough break, Austria. Tough break. At all. Oh my god. They're gonna lose a lot of... You know what? This is good. If they actually lose some things, that'd be fantastic for us. Now, what kind of a military do they have? They still have like 32,000 units. Where the hell are they? Oh, right, because they're in a battle against France? No. You know what? I don't even know. I don't know what they're doing up here. I have no idea. All right, well, that's that's fine. What is this little thing that factions? Ooh. Now, I know this patch added a lot of new things, however, I'm not quite sure exactly what they do. So, right now we have the aristocrats, which are representing the aristocratic patrician families <laughs> that dominate the political life in the capital. Right, what do they do? Army tradition and war exhaustion. Oh, they both have a positive and a negative. Navy tradition. And nothing. I'm confused. It says, oh, oh, it's only 10. I'm not entirely sure what we, <laughs> what this is. You know what? Boost that one up since it's falling. It's only 10. I mean, boost that one up too. Oh, I see. It just, it takes it from. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Somebody please let me know what these are in the, uh, the comments below. Because I honestly am not... Oh, okay, here we go. Hang on. Here's what it is. So if these guys... No, I'm not going to learn this. I, I can't learn this right here. Let me know what these are and what they factor into. I just wasted $30 or 30 administrative points in <laughs> improving all of them. Please let me know what they are in the comments below. That would really, really help me out. All right, now essentially we're just waiting for Corfu to become available for us to annex. We want them to go away and uh, free up another diplomatic slot because right now we're one over. Okay, let's see. So, Siena's going to become a vassal and Austria's just going to pay money. I can't believe Aragon snuck up there and took that considering Austria still has like another 32,000 forces. I don't know where the heck they are. But, yeah, that's crazy. Aragon probably could have pressed for more as well. But I'm glad they didn't, because if they did, they'd have to go into Goers, and actually, that would help me out. I'd rather verse Aragon than Austria. You still don't want to ally with me. No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. At least we have France. France is good enough at this point in time. Okay, aggressive expansion is coming down, and we still are improving relations with them. Fantastic. We need 64 more. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Austria entered a mill. No! Damn it! So close! Come on, Austria. Don't do this. 
<laughs> oh, you don't want to. You really don't. Civil War. Right. And Byzantium announced me as a rival. I don't care about Byzantium, though. They're gonna die off. Are you still in your war? Yes. A war with Burgundy, Cleves, Baden, Hungary, and Württemberg. I want you to be at peace very, very shortly, because if I go to war against Austria, I want to make sure that you're gonna, guard, you know, have my back. Because I can't do this alone. Absolutely not. In fact, what may also help us is grabbing Bohemia, because they're a nice big power that's right on top of Austria. I don't know, it's something. We can go ahead and invest in an idea. However, we are... We still need to grab the military idea first. A new leader. Well... Uh, we don't really... Oh my god, are you serious right now? Look at this coalition. We'd be utterly defeated if this happened. Oh, come on. Come on, don't you dare. We can still build an armory. Oh yes, right, the last armory location in Nexus. Fantastic. Now we can go ahead and start annexing Corfu, and I'm going to do that immediately. Just to free up a diplomatic slot, so that we're not losing one a month. Annex Vassal. There we go. Good. Now, it's going to take us probably maybe three months. Yeah, well, four months. Four months and we'll be good. Awesome. I really like how fast Vassals get annexed now. Instead of being a fixed year that can be adjusted by, you know, a statesman or something, it's dependent on the number of nations, and I like that a lot. I really do. Considering Vassals don't really consist of many, many provinces, it's going to go a lot faster. Integrating Corfu. There we go. Perfect. Now we're gonna go in here and just check out our force limit. Oh my god. Do they have... Well, they had this. That's ours. It seems that we lost some naval force... Oh, just by one. It's fine. I don't really mind. And we can technically keep these guys, however... Well, no, I actually wanted to, to do that. Yeah, go ahead and grab them. That's fine. All right, now we're going to go ahead and work on improving relations with these guys in here. However, I think that we need to focus on maybe the big guys around us. Making sure that they don't declare war on us. Really. So... Ottomans. You're somewhat okay. Yeah, we'll work on you. If I can keep myself okay with the Ottomans and Austria, I think I should be okay. I just need them to leave the coalition. And that's probably going to happen once the aggressive expansion goes away. There's only 15 in the Ottomans, and they still got mad at us. Ugh. The Papal State wanted influ uh, access, and Brittany wants access. All right. I don't know why Brittany does, but sure. Election. So we can keep Marino San Paolo and lose 10 Republican tradition. However, it's not really going up since the last time we did that. However, I think that we should just go ahead and grab ourselves another military candidate. Uh, the... Oh, the... Okay, so the guilds, the traders, and the aristocrats. So the aristocrats are military, the traders are diplomatic, and the guilds are bureaucratic. Now what the heck does that mean? Does that mean if one faction drops too low, it's going to cause a rebellion? Because if that's the case, then oi. It's a huge amount of influence, too. That's the only reason why I'm hesitant here. You know what? I'm okay with the aristocrats, because I like the military... Um, helpingness there. Although, trade power abroad kind of sucks. No matter which we go down, it's not going to be ideal. So for the time being, considering we're really not trading all that well, we're going to go ahead and keep with the aristocrats, just so we can kind of defend ourselves a little bit better. There we go. Fantastic. Tommaso Bassano. Very nice. And that did increase, right? Yes, 52. Holy crap. So not only do they have things over here, right? You know, the leading faction gives us these abilities, but it seems like they have little bonuses onto the faction influence as well. So army tradition plus zero two. If we come in here, plus zero, yeah, the aristocratic influence. However, navy tradition as well is getting some from the traders, and there is just nothing for the uh, the guilds. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll work with that. I like it. All right, head back to Venezia. And we will be reunited with our true brethren. Perfect. And we have Corfu as well now. 
Okay, so we're back down to a nice diplomatic relation of zero, so we're not losing any money. Or, sorry, so we're not losing any diplomatic power each month. But like I said, we just have to work on improving relations with the big guys around here. I'm not really worried about Hungary, but if they're in a coalition against me with the other big guys, then I'm worried about them. You know what I mean? So I gotta make sure that I take care of them as well. Yeah, because I can take Hungary. Hungary really isn't that big of a nation military-wise. And they're Eastern. Which is just a win-win in my book. In fact, if I am going to go ahead and declare war on them, it'll be after, obviously, these coalitions end, and it's going to be for Liga. So I can, you know, hook up Istria and Dalmatia, and hopefully have a more unified empire. Well, we'll have two halves, essentially, until we can go ahead and take Gores from Austria. But that'll be down the road, once they're weak enough, and we're strong enough, essentially. Serbia! Oh, just keep on piling it in. One of them's gonna declare war on me if they, you know, you keep adding all these guys into it. Come on. Nick. oh. Whoa. Okay, Savoy declared war on Milan for government form. Okay, so what is this all about? Savoy is a kingdom, and Milan is obviously an Ambrosian Republic. Right. Milan is allied with Ferrara, Tuscany, and Urbino. This could be my chance to take out Urbino. However, I really just don't want to take any land. I'm going to accept because it's good to get into um, wars with my allies because I, I like to increase relations with them. So we'll do that. Alright, why don't you head on into Urbino. Do some damage here. And what the hell, we'll do the leader may negotiate for us for the time being. We'll see about Urbino. I, I don't I don't really know if I want to take it. Plus, it's another separation from... I don't know. We'll see. All right. Austria has improved all the way. And they're still at negative 40. Now we're just going to have to wait until the aggressive expansion goes down. And they should leave. Oh, God. I'm really hoping. All right. Leave that. I'm going to send you over to Hungary to improve relations. Okay. We won the little battle in Urbino. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and siege out the province. Oh, are they losing up there? Are you kidding me? Now they're going to start sieging me out? Oh boy, oh boy. Where are my vassals? Plague! Right, okay. Uh, lose 50 ducats. Or, yeah, no, lose 50 ducats. That's fine. Uh, my vassals are stuck over here in their provinces because they probably can't get through Hungary here. Yeah, nope, they can't. Oh well, that's fine. Military technology, just in time. Men-at-arms? Uh, I think it's the men-at-arms that we want, right? But yeah, men-at-arms. Perfect. Well, yeah, defense I think is going to be a little bit better for us. Men-at-arms. Venice gets a diplomatic insult causes belly on Serbia. Or we can improve everybody's relations in the area by 60. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Let's do that. Did that update? I don't, it didn't, I don't see anything change over here, but I'm going to assume it did. Ottomans are now plus 65. So that's something. Plus, we have gained some uh, relations with these guys in here. So Mantua is now 47. Do you want... Oh, yeah, we can't vassalize. Oh, wait. I believe there was something saying that we could vassalize now. Because royal marriages don't actually mean anything to us in the way of vassalization. Yeah, see? To offer vassalization, you must have a military alliance... And a relation of 190. And of course, they can't be at war and it has to be the same religion. But even still, no more royal marriages are required. That is fantastic. I love that. Because merchant republics and republics in general, uh, same with um, theocratic states as well, couldn't actually vassalize anybody. And that kind of held them back a little bit more. Uh, well, they could vassalize. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I vassalized Bosnia and Wallachia. Or Wallachia or Wallachia, whatever you want to say. Uh, but that was during war. Now I can go ahead and vassalize somebody, even though I didn't go to war against them. So it's going to be fantastic. Oh, come on, Savoy. Are you kidding me? Ottomans left... The there we go. That's the one I was really worried about. I was really worried about the Ottomans. I am so happy that they're gone. I really am. All right. Now we just need to get rid of uh, Austria, and I'll be even more happier. Even more happier. Yeah, sure, that works. Trade wars. Uh-oh. Right, okay, so something has to be done. 50 diplomatic power. What is this about? 
We always encourage health competition between our merchants, but at the same time, they always put the greater interest of the Republic first. We should work together to ensure that the Republic's trade was strengthened against the interest of rivals. Right, okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Oh, we have another armor to place. Where? Oh, right, Corfu. Yeah, might as well. Increase our manpower. It's already up to 22,600. That's awesome. So, who's at war with us? All of them. Fantastic. It's actually pretty good. We can go ahead and help out Savoy very, very shortly here. I really should be helping them now, but I want to get rid of Urbino. Because I think they're in there. Oh, no, they're not. Well, even still. All right, almost done with Ancona. Come on. Get it done. Oh, did they wipe out Savoy's army? God damn it. Go to Ferrara now. Rubino will annul all treaties with... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, I knew I wasn't going to get anything, but I might as well, you know, just leave the leaders of main negotiate for us on there. Just because it's nice. Go back to Venice because you're apparently exiled. All right, let's see. Let's go up there, maybe? Well, that is the mountains. What's our percentage for attacking up here? Oh, I can't really... 70% mountains. Yeah, we're not doing that. That is not happening. We'll go to Lombardia. This way. No, j this way. Even still. Oh, yeah. There's, like, barely any mountains there. 31%. If we get them, that's going to suck. But even still, it's not that bad. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. Did we get mountains? Oh, we still got the damn mountains. I think. I'm not... It should tell you. I, I don't know if we did. I think so, but who knows. Come on, Savoy. Come in here. Damn it. Well, I did try. We're gonna battle them in our own turf, essentially. No more mountains. Go, 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 get over there. Well, no, don't get over there. Sit in Brescia. Or Brescia. Whatever it is. Okay, Castile wants military access. I can give you that. That is fine. Also, we ended our improved relations with the Ottomans at... A positive 102 relations. That's fantastic. So, who else? Uh, hmm. Who's in the coalition? I don't care about Byzantium, so we'll go ahead and use Genoa. They should drop out any time after we get to the positives. Hopefully. Come on, come on down. On the 29th. Go, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him! Ha! Yes! Go get him. Ah, uh, what is this? Military complacency? Oh, come on, really? Well, at least we just got the military tech, so it's not really going to do much to us anymore. Alright, we wiped that army out. That's fantastic. There's not much left. So what do we need? We need the capital? Yes. Take capital Lombardia. Let's do it then. And we'll wait for them to come down. That should be okay. Now, what is Castile doing down here? What war is this? At war with Algeria. Right. Well, they're look <laughs> they're being seized up by pretenders. So, it's going to be an easy war for you. Good luck. I don't know why you're coming all the way down this way though. Oh, is it the Ottomans as well? No, it's just just Algiers. I, I have no idea. I that's fine. Sure. All righty. All right, so we'll take the Lombardia and hopefully that should win us the war. Now we are at negative 11%. However, that's all right cuz they're really really worse off than us. We destroyed Ferrara's army, and that's what really helped us out a lot. So, good. Seeing Savoy be successful would be nice, but uh, sadly, they weren't able to do it. It doesn't help that most of, uh, you know, northern Italy is all mountains, so it's hard to fight up here. Aw, oh, what the... Are you kidding me? We'll boost that back up, because we do have some to spare, I think. Well, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, we needed it. I don't want to be negative. Don't want any rebels on Crete. Uh, what is this? Support the Florentine school. W we grab yearly prestige plus one, which wouldn't really do much in the way of helping us. 
No, you know what? No. I'm good. Thanks. Prestige is fantastic, but I... No, I'm good. I am good for now. Alright, we're almost done sieging out Lombardia. There we go. Fantastic. We're at positive 31. Good. And there it is. What? Milan will pay 20 ducats. 20... What? You just made them pay 20 ducats instead of change them from an Ambrosian Republic to... Oh, Savoy, come on. Come on, I just fought that whole war for nothing. Oh, boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh well, we gained relations. That's all I care about, I suppose. Great! Oh, how lovely. <laughs> oh boy, alright. Duck up in Venezia, please, and we'll send you on out.